picture this. You're sitting in a high school chemistry class learning about gas laws and you haven't been paying attention because you just can't think of a real world application. Let me tell you who can though. Scuba divers. Gas laws are one of the subjects in chemistry that divers have to know about in order to stay safe underwater. And today I'm going to tell you why. Hi everyone, my name's Alexa Langley and I'm here to answer the lifelong question of high schoolers everywhere. When am I ever going to use this? Today we will be focusing on Boyle's Law. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Boyle's Law, it states that in an ideal gas at a fixed temperature, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. That means that as pressure decreases, volume increases, and vice versa. We're used to being under one atmosphere of pressure, and that's the pressure of the air. But when you dive, the further underwater you go, the more pressure you're under. As a general rule of thumb whenever you're underwater, every 10 meters you go down, that's another atmosphere of pressure. So, as an open water diver, the first certification you get is a scuba diver. You're certified to go down to 18 meters or about 60 feet. That means that at the bottom, you're going to be under three atmospheres of pressure. One atmosphere equals about 14.7 square inches of pressure pushing down on everything. And if you want to know why that's important, let me remind you about one little thing. Breathing. So to help explain this, let me write a little equation on the board. Boyle's Law states that P1V1 equals P2V2. In other words, the product of pressure and volume for a fixed mass of ideal gas at a fixed temperature is constant. In the real world, that means that if you're down at 18 meters and you take a big breath of air when you're under three atmospheres of pressure, so you can swim to the surface where you're under only one atmosphere of pressure, the volume of air in your lungs would be three times what it was at the bottom if you don't exhale. That means you're gonna pop like a balloon. Okay, so you're not actually going to pop like a balloon, but you could end up with something called a lung overexpansion injury, and those are even worse than they sound. And they really can be avoided if you A, remember Boyle's Law, and B, actually breathe. If you're an avid diver who dives several times a day, it's important to remember that you actually have less air pressure at the bottom because of Boyle's Law. It means you have less time in the water. Big deal, right? It is if you want to avoid decompression sickness. The air we breathe is mostly nitrogen. Because of the increased pressure underwater, you accumulate more nitrogen in your blood than normal, and it needs time to filter out. When you only have so much air to work with, that can mean trouble. As you swim up, those microscopic nitrogen bubbles in your blood expand because of the decreasing pressure around you. This can lead to painful contortions, bleeding, and death. Divers avoid this with safety and decompression stops planned in advance because they understand the implications of Boyle's Law. Long story short, Pay attention in chem class because you never know when it's going to save your life. My name's Alexa Langley. Thanks for your time.